The Queen of England, Her Majesty, passed away yesterday, leaving all the glory, riches, prestige and fame behind. Do you know what's the difference between you and her? Assuming you're not a millionaire. You are living with hope. She was hopeless, in the sense that she was already a queen. She had all the respectability, wealth and everything a human seeks. So not much left that she can hope for. Probably, most of her life was more like waiting. Waiting for death to snatch her from her boredom. My point is, don't take what you're seeking too seriously. Keep doing what you're doing, but don't burn yourself out. Don't give up on life to chase money, power, or social status. Have enough time for yourself. You need to contemplate this fact. Sit for some time with yourself. Try not to get distracted by your phone, TV, family, or whatever thought in your mind. Just sit quietly. Don't run. Don't escape from yourself. When you empty your mind, really empty it. Getting rid of all of your busy thoughts, restless desires and ambitions. When you can put them aside for a few minutes and relax, you will see yourself what you were doing. You will be in a state of mind where you can see the whole absurdity. We are dying so we can attain these things, money, power and fame. Thinking that we need not enjoy life now, we postpone it till we attain these desires. But guess what? It's a rabbit hole. Once you're in it, it's a never-ending phenomenon. Your mind will get used to looking far in the future. You will never attend to the moment and enjoy life now. Think of it. People spend 10, 20, 30 years seeking something in the future. And when they achieve it, the very habit of seeking and achieving will prevent them from enjoying the achievement, from enjoying life, which is always in the now. It is like saying, I will quit smoking in a couple of years, but in the meantime I will have to smoke to cope with my problems and get rid of them gradually. But unfortunately, in a few years time, you will be more entangled with smoking than ever. It is gonna get harder and harder unless you decide to quit with awareness. Unless you decide to be available to the moment, to be alive in the present. So I'm telling you, it is now or never. Don't skip life, yet don't run away from your problems. Just learn a new way of living. Simply learn to enjoy every step you're taking during the 1000 miles journey. Don't waste all your energy dreaming about the destination. Otherwise, you might miss the journey and even lose your way to your destination. What you are ultimately seeking is rooted in the present moment. Anything else is not life, but accessories to life. So don't throw away your life for accessories. Ornaments are meaningless on a dead corpse.